humanity for the longest period of time, up until the beginning of the 20th century, has only gone on one source of power, sun. We use the sun to grow our food. We use the wind to, to churn it to, through windmills to move our boats. We've always consumed sun power that was fresh because we didn't know how to store it. Then we figured out the planet knew how to store it 100 million years ago and we started abusing that. We have a huge climate crisis. Today we're growing the amount of emissions. We have to figure out a way to, to slow down. This is the perfect opportunity to fix the economy and the environment at the same time because coal is not sustainable over time because of its pollution. We're gonna run out of oil sometime this century. Now's the time to create a whole new set of green, sustainable jobs. In particular in the car sector, we have to figure out cars and we have to figure out a solution for oil all at the same time. You can't solve for one while destroying the others. We looked at the question of how do you get people to stop driving gasoline cars. And we figured out you can't do it by an edict. You, you have to do it by convincing the consumer to go buy a car that does not use gasoline, that doesn't use oil. If you take oil out of the equation, you create battery and electrons, and the electrons come from renewable sources, so it's clean zero carbon footprint. Changes the, the economics, changes the convenience, so that electric cars are cheaper and more convenient than gasoline cars. So we have a chance to solve multiple problems at once by getting our acts together at home and switching toward more sustainable energy systems and lifestyles. And Copenhagen will have to be the world event that catalyzes people to go on that path. We're going to have a billion tailpipes spewing out CO2. If we don't stop it, every day that passes, is harder and harder and harder to solve it. We only have 35 years or 40 years or 50 years from a climate catastrophe. There's not a lot of policy that is required from governments, but the signal, the importance, we'd like this thing to happen, is critical. It's amazing what the public can do. It's amazing what a galvanized shared vision does to a political body. We gotta go back to the fresh sun power, not to the old sun power. See you in Copenhagen. <laughs>